Text you did. Texting, texting, texting. Hey, there you are. You're there. Where you been? <laughs> How the hell are you? It's a slug them down Saturday here in the mid sack. Fall has arrived, at least unofficially. Unofficially. But it felt like fall today, for the most part. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. In the middle of our fucking soccer game. The sun though, came out. Got a little hot. A little cold. Hot as shit. Thank God I brought that umbrella. Um but yeah, right now? This feels like fall. Fall. Yeah. Anyway, welcome back to the mid sack. That is the redoubtable one. Welcome back to Mr. Thomas J. Izzo. It's good it's been to be a back. While. Good to be back. The Holly Question with Andre Miliaccio, segment one, all things college football. Um, I thought it was all things frauds. Fra- well, there's a few of them in college football, so why not? Um, <coughs> That'll be part of the focus. This is, <laughs> it will be. Uh, this is IDD for those who know I don't disagree. And uh, football is in the air. We are we are in full swing now. I, I forget the number of games that there are today, but it's approaching sixty, like the sixty-seven last week. Um, and still a ton That's of insane. still a ton of Blake games out on the, on the west on the left coast there. <laughs> so that is the redoubtable again. Thomas Jay's Ohio question one. Audrey Miliaccio. IDD. I don't disagree. Um, and frauds. Frauds in college football. Fraud. I mean, first of all, what is it to what does it mean to be a fraud? I mean. I guess there's, there's there's a multitude of meanings, but at the end of the day, you get to the same the same destination, just different journeys of it. But with and with fraud, I think it, it can apply to a couple of things. One, one, when you basically every time you get in front of a microphone, you keep telling America how you <laughs> how you coming. We coming. We coming. We coming. Well, I Damn, can, you're going right after Dan. I can say this. Someone's you're going right after I can, Dan. I can say this. He's half right. Someone is coming tonight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Problem is, Dion's on the wrong end of it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that um, is quite the money shot. They are they are in cornhole country. So not surprising. Of course, of, of, and uh, <laughs> of course, you got to go after Dion uh, first. Okay. You got to at the fraud of an organization that refuses to join a league and think they are America's team, and they're all basically right, the Dallas all, Cowboys. I never of heard college football. I, the difference. I never heard anyone in Notre Dame ever claim they were America's team. Dallas, I've heard a number of No, but like that. they are kind of like America. Like they're they're a team that anybody can like anywhere. Why do you say that? What do you, what do you think they makes have them a, that? Because they don't have a conference. You know what I'm saying? Like if they were in one of the conferences, anybody anywhere couldn't just like them. I mean, now somehow Dallas is that way too, just because. I can't stand that. Their fans are a bunch of frauds. A bunch of frauds. <laughs> I'm saying there's a multitude of roads that get to the end. That's another one. That's another one. I feel bad because that's, I feel bad right. because we know Dallas fans that we love. I love them to death. But they're frauds. Love, they're frauds. I mean, they they're like no. Actually, no. At my, the base, they're frauds. I, I will say this: my brother, who is a diehard Cowboy fan, knows they're not winning anything until Jerry Jones. Dies. That's true. He has said that. He doesn't no, believe I mean, in Dak. He he is not one of those. You know, the stars for eyes. Every year is our year. Fuck it. It's like, no, he's not. He's, he's at least a realistic one. And Eric is the same way. Eric's not delusional by any stretch of the imagination. No, we're not so, talking about being but, delu- I'm not yeah. talking about that. I'm but, talking about the fact that, like, people just out of nowhere choose to like Dallas with no tie to Dallas. That's all, that's uh, all I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, that's, that's pathetic. Like, that's, that's the kind of fraud. And by the way, though, but why would that be? They haven't won anything in 29 years. Well, because years. most of these people did it while they were winning. Well, well, I don't think today's kid generation is doing it. Well, no, well, there's so think. there's enough. Well, now it's in the family. So your dad could be a fraud that just said, but "Oh, if, I like the Cowboys." And when you're born if, and he likes the Cowboys, if, that's real. If for that him. is one thing, if you actually live in Texas and that's your team, it's another to be living in. I don't know, pick a state, that's Montana, what I'm talking about. and your dad grew up in Montana and never had a team, so he latched onto the Cowboys. You don't have to follow in your dad's footsteps. I understand, there. but like, but. But it's tougher to blame that. You can't really call that person a fraud. They were they were born into fraudulence. The, the Cowboys, were, it is very they easy. They were born into fraudulence. It's not their it, fault. It is very easy to spot a fraud Cowboy fan. Because <laughs> it always starts the same way. This is our year. Don't matter what the fucking record was the previous year. Don't matter who the fuck's in their way. This is our year. That's the first. That's not a fraud. That's a fraud. Dude, sometimes fraud. that's just a delusional nut. Fraud. Fraud. They just want to believe. That's all. Believe... I don't know that that. Per- you know what believing is. I, I, I've known like, some real ones. I've known some real Cowboys fans that were a little delusional like that. I, I don't doubt that group is in there too. They are, but that's why I'm saying I. I don't think that alone makes sure. The frauds will be like that, no doubt. They all are. But 
Yeah, yeah, but pretty much. But the real, there are some real ones I think yeah. that are delusional like that too. Oh no, you know what I'm saying? There, that every team has those. Yeah, I'm not, that's not isolated to the Cowboys. I mean, the, the thing about the Cowboys is that the, the America's team crap is probably they, they it's self proclaimed. Because everybody else talks about they have my team, I have a team. They have no, but I mean, it's, but like, it's America's team because you got motherfuckers in New York, Virginia, Florida. Like people just go, yeah, I'm a Cowboys fan. If you're in a state that doesn't have a team, that that's not so bad because you don't have anybody. But if you're in a state that has a team and you're right, like but that, but you, then but I got a problem with you. Beat. Mark, Mark's a Steelers fan. <laughs> I have two idiot, two of these assholes surrounded by assholes. <laughs> what about Eric? Eric's jersey, right? Eric's got a story. I wish this. I wish Eric was a Giants fan. I, I think it he d- feels more like a Giants it, fan. No, but me. his story of how he became a Cowboys fan, I don't know if it's it's like everybody in the North. I don't know, but I, no, I think someone in the in the, in the tree goes back to Texas. Mm. I think, I think. So he's got family in Texas, or or that was originally I he from, was from Jersey. He is, but he's part of the latest that latest group. The group before him, I guess. This is what I, I think this is what I'm, I'm saying. saying I got a bunch of uncles from New York, still in New York, that the, are Cowboys. The, he has family because that of like was born, and what's born there, or raised there. Mm, okay, okay. So, but that again, I don't know with how where he is in the tree, how they close they are in the pecking order. I don't know that. But to your point, he but he is from this area, yeah, Jersey. Well, he's from Jersey. Jersey, yeah, yeah up north. You know, so um, I don't know. Like the, again, to me, now Brian is Steelers. Yeah, but he's from there. Your Pats from there. I'm Giants from there. Right, I know. So that makes sense. Consistent. Yes. So I mean, Creek, I just Creek, well, Cleveland. Cle- Creek is he I, Cleveland or Cincinnati? Because he had a borough. Or a, I, I don't think. I think he kind of roots for both of them, honestly. Well, he can't. He's from. I mean, yeah. if you live in in Ohio, you you yeah. have two teams. Yeah. I mean, I guess if you live in one city or other, maybe that's a little bit. But different. I don't know. I feel I like diehard know. Browns fans probably don't like the Bengals. They don't. Right? They don't. No. I don't know where, where he falls. This. I'd be inclined well, to agree spent, with you. He spent a lot of time out here, though, too, so it's not the same. It's kind of like how I don't hit the Yankees anymore. You know, the thing about, about the team here is just because they're, mm. they're such wankers and they can't mm. change the name back to what it was, they deserve to lose fans. Because I wouldn't want to fucking root for a team called the Commanders. That was in professional sports. Any sport. So you feel like they they need to change the name back? Yep. I don't like. We don't have to get in this big debate. I just I didn't. I don't know if I knew that was your viewpoint. It always was. They have sure the guy when they t- did this. That's the, right. You always the bring first up, thing they did was they went to the guy whose face the and the family and how they were so proud. And they were mad they did it. Yeah. Like those are the ones you think would have been offended. No, they love it. If anyone's gonna be offended, none of these fucking people wake up. Oh, those people. That's not fair to them. You're worried. You're, and they. Mm. This is bullshit. <clears throat> But you talk to people that actually are directly involved? No, they're pissed that they did it. They wanted there's in fact there's a I told you there's a petition that's been signed by almost two hundred thousand people that's going to, no. to bring the name back. But dude, like to almost two hundred thousand so people already. I, I get it. And sometimes it seems like in these situations the people who are offended are white liberals. Yeah. Not the I actual mean, tribe. I, I happen <laughs> to be a white liberal, so like I'm part of that issue. Um, because I kind of I kind of agree that it's like a weird name, but at the same time it's like <clears throat> We're not solving the real problems. No, but We're you, changing names. But wouldn't you at least go to the source and ask him how they felt? Well, I think I think there's more native people than than just that one tribe. You know what I'm saying? Well, the guy came from that tribe. <laughs> like they should have. Wouldn't wouldn't you right, think but, they'd have but, first say in this? But the term redskin was not was not unique to a tribe. It was oh. a derogatory term yes. about all. Oh, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. So that's why I see it. I see both sides. I get it. It's just a word. I think when I think of the Redskins, I think of a, of a proud warrior. Sure. He looks like a badass. Like, yeah. this dude could fuck some people up. Like, yeah. that's what he looks like to me. Yeah. I, I look at it. That looks really cool. And the name, that looks like a tough. You think tough? I think tough. Because when, when the Redskins yeah. were great, they, they had that tough. They were well, tough. I mean, dude, team. culturally, like, yeah. indigenous people are always badasses. I, they are, that's because what I'm saying. Like they're, they're, like, of the land. Yeah, they're from here. This is their <laughs> turf, man. They ain't back. They ain't rolling over. <laughs> no, 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 no. They're, they're the true Americans. They're the only Americans, as far as I'm concerned. You and me are <laughs> that's, fucking that's true. So, I mean, talk about stealing land. <laughs> I mean, so, but anyway, I, I laugh. There's a meme out there going, it's a, it's a, Guy, he's a, it's a piece of pilgrim, or he's actually, he's uh, he's not a pilgrim, but he's, this is like more modern day. He goes up to a Native American, and he's like, why don't you celebrate Independence Day? He goes, or freedom. He's like, you're still here. 
Oh shit! What I, was that on? I pissed myself when I read that. that. God damn, that's good. good. That was so good. good. I was like, oh my God. what did the guy say? It just, well, it was just a look on his <laughs> face, and it's, it just it freezes was right the, there. Was the guy like trying to criticize him for not celebrating the, July Fourth? He, he was just a dumbass who didn't. He didn't study his history. He doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about until he says it to him. You're still here. Like, what? Huh? That's funny. He's like, huh? Like, totally unaware of what he's talking about. It's funny. It's funny as hell. So, um, <laughs> anyway, right, we had to beg the frauds. Yeah, frauds. So, anyway, Notre Dame are frauds. Absolutely. They embarrass mm -hmm. them. So, that could, by the way, and I was saying this all afternoon coming home, that, that he should be fired tonight. I would fire this coach tonight. He has totally let that program down. You would fire the, the Notre Dame coach? Hey, I'd fire him tonight. Dude, but you were just him. defending him, saying they beat A&M. I, I know, but tonight, dude, they, the, they, Notre Dame on paper is one of the most talented, legitimately most talented teams in the country this year. Really? They really are. They are legitimately top five. How did five. they lose this game? That's the coach. That This is the most talented team they've had in fucking 10, 15 years. And there's no fucking way. What, what did he do wrong today? I mean, I, I didn't How does it. your offense... Score 14 points. What was the score? It was 16 to 14. Oh, oh that's right. The, the defense game. didn't fail him. His offense did. Like, how do you, with all the weapons you got, how did this team hold you? By the way, the second touchdown that they scored, that is a Hall of Fame run. When you look at what this kid does to score the touchdown, it's like that's a hall. That's one of those they put like in a oh, highlight shit. reel forever. South Florida just get the ball? I don't know. Alabama going in to they score. They're on like the six. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. He oh, I lost the, the pill, the onion, the, 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 the pigskin. South Florida. Wow, that's a big stop in, their, in the red zone. Dude, this is the definition of dying. Yes. By the way, we're 14-13 we're, we're in Tuscaloosa in the fourth quarter. 13-44 left. And, and, Florida, and South Florida just stopped them on the two-yard. They were going in. <laughs> well, really, Alabama stopped themselves. They South fumbled South, the They snap. fumbled it. Yeah, they still, yeah. Oh, man. Which was happening a lot in that Philly game. Yeah, it was. Lot, yeah. With the new center, because Kelsey's oh, gone. Yeah. Man. Yeah, they're missing him. That guy's got big shoes. We'll get into that in segment two. But anyway, look, the, the thing about these frauds, the Notre Dame coach is a total fraud. He really is. He's let that program down. And then what happened today, you don't you don't go. Here's the thing I, tell, I said this last week on the show. Where Notre Dame was last week, and this was voted on, the toughest opposing field in all of football is College Station. When Everybody voted on this. Not it wasn't Athens. It wasn't it wasn't I Alabama. It, was Providence. it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't. <laughs> remember that? <laughs> and made me re rethink that. <laughs> you remember that? Yeah, I do. Was, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> this is the toughest environment Tough. in college sports. Yeah. Oh, Providence, basketball. Providence basketball. Four thousand strong in that arena. That Four thousand screaming screaming guineas. Um. Just fucking... Is it all Guineas up there? Oh, Providence is like... Now you're saying, oh, yeah. It's Providence like, thinks they're New it's York. It's like a big slice they of salami. Think they're, they're, they think they're the sixth borough. Let's put that mm -hmm. That's what they think they are. It's ridiculous. Um, is it close? Oh, good catch. Oh, but he didn't get he the didn't first. didn't get there. What a tackle. Great tackle. Alabama still can play D, though. Great. But anyway, all these... Schools voted that College Station is the toughest place to win. Notre Dame goes down there and wins a smash mouth Donnybrook old school fist fight. Where it's, it's, by the way, that was a tough fight. It was both teams were tough. And like you, you have, have to punt this. I got it. You got to punt this. It's so. Bad. It's a one point game. You got to punt. I know. There's too much time. But their defense is getting is about to get. Trashed. I know, but you don't you don't gamble here. You're one point down. It's not over. God, half a yard for this. I don't know. That would be ballsy if he went for this. There's no way. Nah, he's not doing. Yeah. That's, that would be delusional. There's, that would be, there's balls, see, and there's delusional. See, I would have done it, and they would, they would have stopped us, and then the game would have been over because they would have and, punched in And the, the post-game, when they asked him, I went, yeah, but I had balls. Mm -hmm. That's true. You, you, know what, you know what I went for? Because I had fucking yeah. balls. Not, that would have shut I'm up everyone. I'm trying not to lose. I'm trying and, to win and, this and like, Yeah, I'm trying to win the game. Look, I went balls. Here's, here's if, right. if I'm going to go down, I'm going go, to go down and swing it. And then every reporter goes, shit, he's right. Dude, it would have been better off throwing a ball and getting it intercepted. Yeah. Because they just gave up a fucking 25, 30 yard punt. Return? No. Uh, might as well have gone for it. At, you, you, man, they needed to capitalize on that. They really did. I mean, I don't know. So, yeah, Notre Dame's frauds. Deion Sanders is a fraud. <clears throat> fucking, um, who's the other donkey out See, there? So, here, uh, hang on. I, I don't one. want to talk about Deion. All right. We got, <laughs> wait, yeah, where's my cigar? I want to still have a cigar there. Let's smoke that whole thing. Dude, it's not yet. It's so delicious. I know. I, I fell asleep. This is not his fault. This is my fault. I just fell asleep at the wheel. We were, um, I'm excited to have him back. All right? I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. And I'm excited. That's yeah, why I'm smoking you know, a cigar. Yeah, you know, like, you know football's a, it's a good. You, NFL football back tomorrow. I mean, come on. Yeah. 
So college football. So here's the thing swimming. about Dion. Yeah. Is that I want I want I want to root for them so bad. I do. And he like, pissed, but he pisses me off. Well, like it, it, it was just like it was the shit he said last he, week. He makes like, me believe in this shit. And then and then here's so here's what I, I'm afraid is happening because it's happening in my head, and I and I really hope it doesn't happen in everybody else's head. But the more I see this, the more I question everybody that's a part of it. Yes. Like it's hurting Shador right now, even though I know. He can't control this. He's got nobody blocking for him. It's, I mean, he, what's he supposed to do? But it's hurting him. This reeks of Patriots. Yeah. You had the whole offseason. You knew where the weakness was. And you did nothing to, to improve it, apparently, because this kid's getting killed. He was sacked four times in the first fucking half. He was better last year. I know. Although maybe they didn't play a D-line like this last year, but they opened with, what, TCU? and Nebraska then ain't that you, good. That's what I'm saying. They're, they're all right. They're decent. They're not Dude, some they're not guys, elite. Some they're of not. those guys look big, though. Next to Colorado? Colorado looks like... Like they looked last year. Like a Juco school. Like they looked last year. Like, where's the beef, dude? Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking like, what the fuck? Their skill players are tiny. They're, their skill players their are skill, all world, and they've got a JV line. The skill players are tiny, and the, and the big guys are tiny. <laughs> <laughs> this is the legitimate, the one legitimate team where there's a big man and they could nickname him Tiny, Tiny, and it would fit. <laughs> it would fit. It actually fit. What about oh, Zeus, yeah. Tiny, Lester, Debo? Yeah, but that's one of those that doesn't fit. <laughs> but they could sure use him right Not now. He's all. bigger than two of them. Yeah. Like any two of them. <laughs> Dude, remember No Holds Barred? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> With fucking Hulk and Debo. That girl was a babe, though. But, no, he the was girl Hulk got. She was a babe. He was Zeus in that, right? Yeah, he, he was, was just Zeus. That's where Zeus started. Yeah. And then he wasn't Debo until Friday. Oh man, he was that was a all great, time. That was a great character. All time great movie. For, I'm gonna be watching that later tonight. But <laughs> I, might, I might put that on. I'm just telling you right now. Mm, we should put it on right now. Yeah. Well, wait, no. This is we, we got a Donnie going on here. Yeah, Donnie's a great movie. So, so we got what? Three frauds here or two frauds? Uh, Notre Dame and Dion. Um, well, then we talked about Pet. Uh, Page, uh, I'm sorry, Cowboys fans. Um, if we wanted to talk, we could also talk about Yankee fans. There's a lot of fraudulent they're, Yankee they're, fans. They're bad. They're bad. And they didn't used to be this bad. They've gotten worse, I think. I think they've gotten worse. They, they I didn't always well, put them in the same class as the Cowboy fans, but they're getting dangerously close. It's because they haven't won in a while. I know. That's what happens. That when when teams like that win all the time, they don't sound like that. When they haven't won in a while, yeah, that's no funny. business sounding like that. <laughs> that's the thing. You haven't won in a while. You haven't won in 15 fucking years. 2009, right? Yeah. 15 fucking years. That was A-Rod's title. Yeah. I mean... A-Rod and Jeter. You have nothing. <clears throat> no, nothing to be cocky about. One since the turn of the century. One in 24 years? No. But see, here's the thing. Anytime you stack championships, you get fraudulent fans. Dude, what the Red Sox and the Patriots have done the past 20 years, they've brought a lot of fraudulent fans in. The Red Sox had a following, though. Oh, no, They no. had an all-time. No, no, you guys. World you, international you, following the Red Sox. That was a victory for the world when they beat the Yankees. And that was, was the, the world Yankees. loved that. No, no. When the Red Sox did that, the whole no, world fucking loved no, that. Of course, but I'm not talking about <laughs> those weren't Red Sox. It wasn't just fake Red Sox fans. It was everybody, everybody hates the Yankees unless you're a Yankee fan. I just think that. The Red Sox, look, everybody's got their fake fans. I, can't I just think that the Red Sox have far more loyal, real ones. Than no, fans. of course. That's all. That's all I, they've got Dude, some. Almost, I'm not every, almost every organization, that's the truth. Except for, like, the Cowboys. Well, they're just all frauds. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm saying. They're not. Not, Eric, no, but you're not no, frauds. No, I'm sorry. Exactly. I love you both. You're exactly. not frauds. You two actually keep it real. You don't sound like the other. Every other one I talk to is a fucking nut. They're just delusional. My Uncle Terry's a real, a real Cowboy fan. He knows his shit. He's 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 never delusional. Okay, well, that's good. Well, yeah. we, that's three. That's three down. <laughs> but I'm just saying that um, with, with when it comes to these frauds, like the Notre Dame head coach, every time he stands there, like he could still play. He looks like one of those dudes. But he's they are just. It's amazing how they can just turn it. Like it's almost like the, one week they can look like holy shit, and then the next week, like, who the fuck are these guys? These motherfuckers. Sneaked it on third and one. Anyway, those are the frauds of the week. Jesus. Um, look at, look at Notre this. Dame. Third and one. Watch Dion. They got a three-man line. Oh, no. They're, they're and Cowboy out. fans. Frauds. Fucking frauds. Um, we're going to come back. Segment two. 
We're going to talk NFL preseason, uh, I'm sorry, preview se uh, segment. Tom and I are going to make our picks for the season, and then we'll break and we'll come back and just do a pick segment for tomorrow. So grab a, grab a, grab something delicious like this. God, God bless you. Glad my boys, but this is my boy. Glad my boys back. <laughs> I miss him. It's lonely here without him. It. Lonely. Can't be a so day I'm, go by with one guy. <laughs> your audience anyway, in the sack is still here. That's true. It's still the same loyal crickets. I've got it. Cool Whip and Cool Whip. Yeah, Cool Whip. What is that one? Cool Whip has never missed a show. Is that tomato soup? What is that? Uh, tomato can. <laughs> That's tomato can. Tomato can, boy. <laughs> My wife's gonna kill me. <laughs> she hates that fucking thing. We gotta get another car. <laughs> she's embarrassed. That's terrible. Anyway, what is she segment two. Of? We'll talk about segment two coming Not right after. It's I I know that. But I'm so. driven to worse. And my wife doesn't only care about this shit. We'll talk about it in the segment <laughs> two. Right? Oh so man, they just get a cola, oh, get a frothle, shit. get a frosty, Alabama get a, a delicious succulent concoction. We're right back. Segment two. Alabama NFL preview.